हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द रिवीजन ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री फाइव बार टू फैब्रिक बैक एक्सरसाइज एंड क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद एम सी क्यू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डज नॉट ईल वूल या कैमल गोट और वूली डॉग्स सो द आंसर इज वूली डॉग्स द सिल्क वॉम इज अ कैटरपिलर लार्वा प्यूपा both a and b so the answer is both a and b so it is a caterpillar and larva a lot of feeding is required at, at the silk worm stage cocoon stage adult stage or egg stage the answer is silk worm stage wool is graded according to the length texture dyeing capacity and all of this it is uh, it is wool is graded according to all length even length texture dyeing capacity silkworm feeds on which leaves neem leaves mulberry leaves people leaves or blackberry leaves the answer is mulberry leaves so it eats the mulberry leaves next The practice of rearing silk worm for silk is called it is called as sericulture. The silk, uh, the practicing of the silk worm for the silk is called as sericulture. Animals that give wool is uh, are uh, animals that give wool are sheep, goat, rabbit, or all of these. The answer is all of these. The majority of woolen units in India are in. Which state it is in Punjab? Which of the following is obtained from the plant? Wool, polyester, silk, cotton. The answer is cotton. We get cotton from the plants. Which of the following is not an animal fiber? Wool, silk, pashima, or jute. Jute is a plant fiber. It is not an animal fiber. Next, one word answers. Silk is obtained from silk is obtained from the silk worm. When silk worm spins a cocoon, the stage is known as it is the stage called as pupa stage. The bacteria res responsible for the sorter disease, the bacteria which is responsible for the sorter disease is anthrax. Next, India is the world's second larger producer of silk after. it is after the china china is the first producer of the silk the fiber obtained from angora goat is mohair goat mohair wool the animal which is the <coughs> which is the main source of wool is sheep the sheep are reared to remove the fleece silk thread is extracted from the cocoon by the process called as it is called as reeling silk and wool fibers are obtained from animals they are obtained from the animals cotton coir and jute are obtained from plants they are obtained from the plants next true and false wool is obtained from the sheep Uh, wool is obtained only from the sheep it's false it can be obtained from the goat it can be obtained from the rabbit wool traps more air in the in it as compared to cotton yes it's true silk and wool both are obtained from the animals yes silk and wool both are obtained from the animals yes it is true silk fiber is made up of protein yes they are made up of protein Silk is a plant fiber? No, it is an animal fiber. Shearing is the process of shaving the hair. Yes, shearing is the process of taking out of the hair. That's true. Silk fibers are long, even straight and fine. Yes, it is true. The insect in the cocoon is killed before reeling the silk. Yes, the insects which are present inside the cocoon should be killed by putting them in the boiling water. Rearing of goat, camel is called as sericulture false it is not sericulture sri lanka and malaysia are the two main producer of the wool no it's wrong next 
filling the blanks. The sticky fluid secreted by larva from the salivary gland is they are proteins. The four stages in the life of silk moth are egg, larva, pupa and adult moth. Next. Silk is obtained from cocoons of the silk worm. The cocoons are put in a pot of dash which kills the worms and loosen the filament. That is, they are kept in the boiling water. The best wool comes from Australia and New Zealand. Dash fibers are rough to touch. Woolen fibers are rough to touch. Next. We'll go with the question answers. What is meant by rearing and shearing? Rearing is the breeding of breeding and taking care of the animals is called as rearing. Rearing is breeding and taking care of the animals. What And the shearing? Shearing is the process of removing the fleece from the sheep. Shearing. The process of removing the fleece from the sheep is called as shearing. Next, what is meant by reeling of silk? Reeling of silk is the method of obtaining the silk fibers from the cocoons. Next question. Describe in brief the first two stages of the life history of the silk moth. The first two stages of the silk moth in which the first stage is female uh, silk moth lays hundreds of eggs under on the uh, on the mulberry leaves and the second stage is silk worm stops eating and build its net around itself to hold on the twigs of the mulberry leaves these are the two stages of the silk moth what is sericulture sericulture is the rearing of silk moth on the commercial scale what is a sorter disease how it is spread sorter disease is a disease Fatal blood disease. It is a fatal blood disease and in the wool industries, the people who are engaged in the uh, wool industries, they are infected by the bacteria and uh, infected by these bacteria. Is it fair on the part of the human to reel the, she uh, she to reel the sheep for getting the wool? Why or why not? Yes, it is fair because the wool from the sheep is useful for the human beings and it this processing of uh, this processing is not harmful for the uh, sheep define sorting and soaring of the wool sorting the process of grading of the wool according to their texture and scoring is the process of washing the sheared wool with the detergent to remove the dust grease dirt and sweat on the wool Name the four countries which are leading producer of wool. Which country produces the best wool in the world? India, China, New Zealand, Australia are the countries which are, which are leading producer of the wool. Whereas Australia and New Zealand is regarded as the best. Next, give two examples of the health hazard associated with sericulture. So two diseases, uh, the health hazard or the two diseases associated with the sericulture is asthma and bronchitis. What is the maximum length of the continuous silk thread that can be obtained from the cocoons? A single caterpillar can produce 300 meters of the silk thread. One thread produces nearly 300 meters of silk thread. Which of the two silk or wool is smooth to touch? Silk is smooth to touch and wool is rough to touch. Why does the caterpillar of the silk moth feed continuously? The caterpillar, fill, uh, the caterpillar of the silk moth feeds on the mulberry leaves continuously because uh, with that helps in their growth and that, that helps to shed their skin four times. Name the health problems associated with the silk processing. So health problems that is asthma and bronchitis. Why should the silk worm be killed by placing the cocoons in the boiling water? So the, the silk to obtain the silk fiber from the cocoon. So we 
kill the cocoons by placing them in under the boiling water describe the processing of the fibers into the wool so the following steps of processing of the hair fleece obtained from the animal wool are shearing scoring separating of burrows burrows and dyeing dyeing and rolling describe the life history of silk moth first in the first step the female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs on the underside of the mulberry leaves these eggs are hatched uh, into larva and the and uh, continuously uh, larva which is also known as caterpillar they eat the mulberry leaves and they grow and they shed their skin four times and four to six times during the period it shed the skins four times and the process of shedding of the skin to grow the new one is known as molting this process is called as molting during uh, at the end of the period it climbs the branches of the trees and, and attach itself with the uh, by weaving a net over it this is the start of this start this is the starting the, the, then it starts spinning the cocoon the salivary glands which are present in the larva heads secretes the sticky fluid which wound round their bodies in a long continuous thread this uh, the protein solidifies when it comes in contact with the air and forms the fiber next describe the detailed production of the silk the production of the silk the silk fiber is obtained from the cocoon by killing the insect inside it cooking the process in which a large number of cocoons are boiled is called as cooking next reeling the sticky substance of the cocoon dissolved in the hot water with the fiber separates out and the method of obtaining the silk fiber from the cocoon is called as reeling why is shearing carried out during the summer the shearing is carried out during the summer because the hair grows uh, the uh, the hair grows back in the winter and uh, the sheep does not feel cold why does shearing not hurt the sheep because shearing does not hurt the sheep because it is the upper layer of the skin which is dead next why does on burning the wool smell like burning hair comes the wool is obtained from the thick coat uh, of the hair which grows on the body of some special animals so burning of wool smells like the burning of hair so till here your question answers are completed thank you